In this video, I wanted to talk about something fairly new on Kiddo, and that is mock-ups. So you can do mock-ups now on t-shirts, on bags, on all, a lot of different things. I'm going to show you how you can use it for things you design on Kiddo, as well as things you design off of Kiddo. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I wanted to talk about mock-ups. So Kiddo now has a way for you to put or create mock-ups with your design. So you can take the design that you've created on Kittle and put it on a t-shirt and use that if you have Etsy. Uh, if you have any other the print-on-demand sites like Redbubble and Amazon Merch On Demand and uh, Tee Public, you don't need those mock-ups, but you could use those mock-ups for your posts, like social media posts on, on Twitter, Instagram, or things like that. So it still could be really helpful for you even though you're not using it in the app itself or the print on demand site you can use it for social media stuff as well as your own site so if you're doing your own site on shopify or things like that you can use these as well so i'm going to show you how to do it all the different products that they have and and how to use it for maybe things that you didn't design in kittle maybe you designed it from somewhere else you use a, another thing i'm going to show you how to bring that in and just use it and i really like how they're how they can move the design on the shirt. They just do it automatically. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So let's get into Kittle and I'll show you everything I know about mockups. All right, so here we are on Kittle, Kittle.com. You can see they've updated the site a little bit. They've added their AI on the homepage. Streetwear is really cool. I'm gonna to have to talk about that one day and all these things. So let's make pretend that we did a design. So let's just pick any one of these like we did it as a t-shirt design. So let's say this one right here. I'm gonna just use this as a design, right? I can also go to my profile and see which ones I've done. So let's just say I've done, I have did this design on a t-shirt now, or for a t-shirt. So you can see right here, this is the new mock-up. It's just right here. Whenever you build something or ever, ever have a project here, you can go straight to mock-up. So let's take this mock-up uh, and click it. And it's going to bring up, it's going to take a little while, but it's going to bring up all the different mock-ups that we have here. And you can see it automatically took the background color that was on there um, as the color so of the t-shirt. Now you can change that and I'll show you how, but you can make this as big as you want on a t-shirt right here. By default, it does this first t-shirt, right? Flat t-shirt. And you can come in here and you can change the colors. Right, so let's say we wanted it on a black t-shirt. What does that look like on a red t-shirt? And just kind of play around with the colors. You can move this here too. Uh, if you know the colors that you wanna try, you can do that too. I'm gonna to make a download of all the Amazon colors so you can look for that in my downloads, but you can do that hex codes for all of those or the RGB codes and kind of play around with the colors that are on Amazon if you sell there. Uh, there's lots more colors on uh, the other Print on demand site, so I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, there's tons on T Public and Redbubble, but there's only like 16 that they use on Amazon. So you can use that. Um, let's try something else. So this is another T-shirt, like with a person in it. So one thing I really like is you can move it here, and you can see that it automatically moves with the T-shirt. Like it knows like how the T-shirt works, right? Like um, if it's on the front or the back or if it's angled or whatever. So let's try another one of these t-shirts that are kind of angled. So um, this one right here, boom. So you see now this is at an angle and it already knows that it's at an angle. So it puts that, you don't have to do any kind of thing on here to kind of move it around. It knows that this t-shirt is at an angle. Um, here's another one, let's do a more extreme. So this one's really at an angle and if we move it like this, it can automatically detect like moving around. Isn't that cool? That's so neat. So you don't have to worry about like flat backgrounds and you don't have to do some kind of Photoshop trickery. It just knows it, which is really cool. So let's go back to um, bags and stuff. So you got so many, let me show you all these. So we got wall art, if you wanna do like wall art, t-shirts, hoodies and sweaters, right? Like, look at this back one. Like, if I wanted to put it in the back of a hoodie, it already knows to stretch it this way, right? Um, we got tops, we got flat um, apparel, we got bags. So we know we sell totes on uh, Redbubble and Amazon Merch On Demand and things like that. Pillows as well, wall art, which does on uh, Redbubble. So all these things, coffee mugs, 
Um, you got greeting cards, again, red bubble books, uh, shorts. I don't know where you sell shorts, but if you have shorts, you can do that. Jackets, uh, headpieces. Uh, we got caps there on red bubble as well. Pants, we got, um, you can do that. And then even packaging, like for bottles, business cards, electronic devices. So if you ever need like something to be put on a, a device, like for Instagram or something like that, you can put like, you know, build your website here and then put it on there. If you ever need one for a phone, like they have it on a phone. So let's, if you want to do like a fake um, Instagram post on a phone or something like that, you have those too. So pretty cool. So let me, we know t-shirt design. So I want to show you pattern design. So let me uh, see if I can just make a pattern real quick. So let me get out of here. I'll go back to Kittle, leave. Uh, let's see if anybody's done a pattern real quick. Oh, you know what? I'm going to type in pattern. Let's see if... Boom, pattern. Okay, we got some, we got some good patterns here. Um, this one. Let's just say we made a pattern in Kittle. Let's do this one and we'll use this design. Now, of course, I could use AI for patterns as well, but let's take this and let's do the mock-up. Okay, so, of course, on a t-shirt by default, but what if we put a pattern on a pillow? Now, it already knows, look at this. It already knows to go edge to edge like that and kind of fill in the space on how it lays, right? So if I pick a different pillow here, Let's say I'm, I'm doing it sideways like this. It already knows that if I do it this way, you know, it already moves with it and it kind of wraps around, right? Pretty cool. And I can go and do a pattern on a bag, right? And do the bag like that. Pretty cool pattern, right? Uh, let's see what else. Of course, on, on books and stuff, I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can see it just wraps it, right? Maybe a, a pattern on this packaging. It just wraps it around. Really cool, right? Okay, so you can see you can use this for so many things, right? And then add text over it too and things like that. So um, I'm going to go back to my editor. In fact, I'm going to go back and upload something. So um, let's start something new. I'm going to... Um, leave this. I'm going to do a new one. So I'm just going to do a new project and create. Uh, let's just do 1200. I, well, I'm going to do 4500 by 4500. I mean, 4500 by 5400. And hit create. Now I've made designs before in Affinity Designer, and I'm going to bring this in here so that I can use the mock up with it. So let me show you how easy it is. So Here's one that I did. I'm just going to drag it in and you can see that it's going to take a while, but it's going to load it up. And where you can find it here is in my uploads. So I already did one here. Um, if you need to get it later, it's going to be in your uploads. Now you can see I can just scale this and then do a background. Let's say I want to try it with this red background here. And this is one of the t-shirts that I designed in Affinity Designer, but I want to bring it in here. Maybe I even want to add some things in Kittle. I could do that too, just use this as a base. But let's do the mock-up. So I picked a red t-shirt, right, or red background. And when I do mock-up, it's going to know that I want a red color t-shirt. And so it should do it here. Right away, red color t-shirt and of course I can change it like I did but look I can put it on a t-shirt this is something I didn't do in Kittle but I can still use the mock-ups in Kittle to use it so you can see how I can use this for social media and stuff like that so let me show you the um, let me go back I'll take this out and change the background to white and here's the flower pattern that I used uh, Leonardo AI flower pattern I'm um, this is the bigger one uh, that I saved um, in that video, but it's going to take a little while, but you can see uh, you can also do patterns on here, just like we saw with the pattern from Kittle, 
this pattern I'm gonna use on a mock-up as well. So I'm gonna stretch it because I know this one's um, 4,500 by 5,400, right? I did it, saved it at that size, so I'm not gonna lose anything here. I'm just making sure that it fits in here. All right, so now when I do the mock-up, let's do this. Now I can use this mock-up like I did with the other patterns. I can put it on a pillow, right? And now I can do this pattern and use this as a mock-up maybe on social media or whatever and say, look at this new pattern that I made. Isn't really cool, right? Things like that. So uh, real cool, real easy. And I'm sure they're just getting started. Like they only have 18 shirts right now. I'm sure they're going to add more and more and more. This is just a test. This is just their first pass at it. Uh, they're going to add more products and more stuff. So this is just the beginning. Again, they're still in beta, working all this stuff out, but love this how you how it just goes right over the thing and how it can change like if I want to put it on let's see sideways does it have one that it's sideways uh, here check this out like it's sideways and it knows to kind of put it like that when I move it right really cool so have fun with this I think this one does it do the shirt too no it just so it just does the bag see if you go over it it does the handles but it doesn't do uh, everything so just like that pretty smart and pretty cool and of course you can come on here and you can download this mock-up uh, and save it to your desktop and then use it on social media or on Etsy or on your Shopify store wherever right uh, you can use it any place and post it anywhere so super simple way to do mock-ups I really love what they're doing and I hope that they do more and more so that is everything I know about mock-ups in Kittle very powerful and i know they're just getting started like i said so they're going to add more and more there so keep an eye out for that mock-ups and use it uh, if you use etsy i think it'd be really cool and of course if you do social media it'd be awesome thanks again for watching and if you want to see the video where i teach you how to make patterns in kiddo you can check on this one right here this video right here and of course you can use those patterns now on those pillow mock-ups and other things so i think it's really cool thanks again for watching and as always guys keep creating and keep learning i'll see you on the next one